What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? How you doing? Skinny boy Randy here. How you doing? I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. You can be anywhere in the Garden Universe, but you choose to spend a little time with your skinny boy Randy, and I greatly appreciate it. Okay? Okay? Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day. Welcome to Skinny Boy Randy. Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy. If you're new to my channel, click that like and subscribe button, y'all. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, just not the two middle fingers, okay? Okay, thank you so much, you guys. Also, leave a comment, share the video with all your social media. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. It helps me out so much, you guys. Also, if I can't answer a question here, head on over to my Facebook group, Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy. My Facebook group, <laughs> group, Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome over there as well. Today, you guys, I just want to make a quick video on why you're seedlings look like this okay yeah this is what we call leggy your seedlings are leggy these are the exact same seeds planted on the exact same date look at these and look at these why is this happening you might ask and that's what we're gonna talk about today first of all lighting I can't stress enough you guys your lighting the one thing when starting your gardening, especially when you're starting your seedlings indoors, is you're going to have to have some type of grow light, you guys. You're going to have to have some type of grow light. If you're going to spend money on anything, please get you a grow light, some type of grow light. If you have a small one, big one, whatever you have, get you a grow light. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't, the sunlight in a window seal it's not going to work. It's not going to be enough, especially during the winter time. Now, if it was summer where the sun is just beaming in like that, it would be fine. But since we're in winter and we're just getting a jump start on our spring garden, we need to have a grow light indoors. Okay. Now, one of the lights that I use is the Spider Farmer Grow Light. And you guys, this is an amazing light. And the thing that I love about the Spider Farmer Grow Light, you guys, it's an LED light. And they are one of our sponsors, and they actually sent me this light to try out. And you guys, I love this Spider Farmer Grow Light. If you're able to save up and get you one, um, yeah, they have them in all different price ranges and sizes. And this one is just amazing. Look at my seedlings down there. And this is just the second batch. The first batch I grew from the Spider Farmer Lights are right here. Now, the bigger they get, you can take them away. Uh, from the from the spider farmer light and put them under your shop lights because they'll need less and less light the bigger that they get. But if you don't have a grow light, you guys, this is what happens to your seedlings. But fear not, okay? Okay, because we can make it work. So if you happen to get your seedlings and they're lagging like this, what you want to do is let it, well, me, I kind of let it dry out. And now all I'm going to do, we're going to have to repot these, you guys. Just like starting your seedlings, starting all over. So I'm just going to take some of my soil out, leaving some in. And go through all of my leggy seedlings, okay? Let's get all these babies. We're going to save these. These are marigolds, you guys. And just get them all out like that. I hope you're doing well, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We are growing by leaps and bounds, you guys. I love it. Okay, so we got most of them. A couple more. But yeah, you guys, if you can't get your grow light, the Spider Farmer Grow Light is excellent. I love the Spider Farmer Grow Light. And I'm thinking about going ahead and get me another one. Shout out to Spider Farmer. If you guys want to send me another grow light, a big one, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, check out the Spider Farmer Grow Light, and the link is in the description box. So once you've separated your seedlings, you just want to go back, pop them back down in the soil. Well, let me add a little bit more dirt. Soil, dirt. And a little bit more. And then all you want to do is just gently lay them back in there. And you want to cover them up. Well, let me put a few in there so just so you can see. I just lay them back in there like that and cover them up. 
Let's get them back down in there deeper. And cover them right back up. Just like that, you guys. You can actually make a little hole with your finger just pop them down in there too. Your seedlings are a little stronger than you think. And just pop them back down in there like that. But you get the idea of what I'm saying, you guys. You just want to rebase them deeper in the soil so they can reestablish themselves. Just like that. Again, you want to take another one. See how long that root is? Just take another one, pop your finger down in there like that. Place it down in there. And give it a little water. And a little bit more soil. So there you have you guys. If your seedling, if your seedlings get leggy, don't throw them away. Just repot them and bring the soil level up, just like that. And that's all you do. But yes, you guys, if you can invest in your grow light, that's the only thing that will hinder your seedlings from growing properly is the lighting, you guys. So please make sure you get you a grow light. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I kept it short and sweet. I hope I helped somebody today. Don't forget, click like and subscribe. Give a thumbs up, thumbs down. Just not the two bit of fingers. Okay, okay. I love you guys. You're out the best. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, live, love, laugh, you guys. Grow stuff and eat it. You're the best.